What do you think about that 31-year-old teacher having sex with a 13-year-old student? And if the rules were reversed, like, we would be in trouble. Damn, this shit is, this shit looks hard. Bro, 31, like, how are you attracted to a fucking preteen, man? That's just disgusting. Like, bro, I understand, like, shit, like, college, bro, like, like sleeping with a student because they're over 18, you feel me? But, like, essentially, like, bro, that, that's, like, that's fucked up. Every day I fucked up. You know what I mean? I don't think... I don't think anybody... That's 31, 32... Fucking shit. Anybody my age... I'm 18. Should be... Like, should not at all be attracted to a 13-year-old. Like, come on. They ain't even fucking hit puberty yet, my boy. Like, that shit really crazy, man. What well, do you think if the roles were reversed? Roles were reversed like how? Like the, um... <coughs> 31-year-old guy, 30-year-old girl. Um. Oh, it was a 31-year-old girl and a 13-year-old boy? Is yeah. what you're saying? Oh, my nigga hit that! You feel me? Yeah, nah, nothing against that. But if the rules were reversed and it was a guy and a girl, yeah, nah, that, that's kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie, even as it is, like, the girl liking a 13-year-old boy, that's kind of crazy, you feel me? But shit, my nigga hit that, though. I ain't gonna hold you. He hit that drama. <laughs> like, that's crazy, man. Holy shit. God damn, but if the rules were reversed, like, in society, bro, like, you think about it, bro, that shit's, like, so much weirder to people, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially boys, because, like, bro, like, people like me, bro, if I hear about that and I see that person, we fucking them up, bro. A 31-year-old slept with a 13-year-old girl, like, <coughs> that would be crazy, bro. But What do you think about Rolling Loud not coming to New York this year? Because this is big for rappers. This, this is big, big for rappers, and honestly, I can understand because it's with, like, all these drill artists, and you literally right there. No one even got good. booked because of all fighting happened. Yeah, like, honestly, but in my opinion, I think Rolling Loud New York is overrated because living it's right not here. Even, dude, I even told everybody, like, the Cali shows look way more better than the they New are. York that's why. That's why me and the guys just go to Miami for this shit. Yeah, we go to Miami been there. It's not even better, bro, but it's just so much more shit to do other than rolling loud. Like, me and the homies, like, bro, being right here in Jersey, it's a 45-minute drive to New York and or one train ride. You feel me? We go there all the time, whether it's to chill or see, you feel me, a basketball game or see another show. You feel me? Like, I just, you feel me? Rolling loud is supposed to be something, something special, you know what I mean? Once a year, you know? Well, obviously, once a year in each city they do it in, but, you know, I just feel like New York is kind of just like... A plus one to the equation, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they tr like I didn't, I thought they always did that. I didn't realize, but I looked into it. The people were like, you know what? Let's try New York and see if it really give that dude. It, ha it doesn't have the historic vibe and all that. Like it does. Those shows in Cali, like, are like legendary. Those shows are crazy. I want to go to the West Coast. Another one I want to go to is Toronto. I definitely want to visit Toronto. That's I want to get out sorry. of the country. You know what I mean? Because Canada is so much like. The U.S., but they have our, their differences, you know? And I want to go... I want to expand my culture, you know what I'm saying? Like, trying to see how, how, how I get down in Toronto. Respectfully, man. <laughs> but yeah, Smooth TV, man. It's Young Stoney. I'm coming back at you, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? Back in the booth, you know? Always here, you know? I'm always here, you feel me? Got a great motherfucking, like top tier engineer on this shit thank you i yeah. appreciate that he, that's, he gets, that's a fact he makes the work happen you know what I'm that's saying? a fact Without top him, tier engineer bro show, like, show him all this shit nah, on your desk bro. man like you can see all the stuff on my desk but you can't see what i'm doing on i'm here. saying like this. show him what's on your desk man because look all of this if you left this alone with me man i ain't getting shit done i don't know all how these do shits go this, all man. the way back it's not a whole right look look bro this is a whole system you yeah, see how long like, this is bro, this goes what? All the way back there. Same oh, for the one know, underneath. That shit crazy. Look how, this one's even bigger. Look how long this one is. See oh how far that shit goes? Fucking god, it should go all the way back. <laughs> so him and mighty, mighty uh meat, mighty mouse, bro. Like, so he apparently like all this shit is going down now because he's been on for years on YouTube saying all these rappers' names and. 
and they're not some of the stuff's not even it's real it's just for youtube like what do you think about punk ass niggas like 1090 jake doing that shit to niggas making niggas look bad all these rappers look bad for all these years man look because i go through the same shit i got haters that jack they my ops jack they know me out of this and he's really getting exposed me, you know right I mean? now for being a fake kind of yeah like bro here's the thing man like people do not know me and i hate when people try to talk on my name cap on my name and make me look bad when i'm really in the clear i'm in the good you feel me and like people like that i don't know man like rest in peace for real for real because i ain't gonna hold you because i'm telling motherfuckers like you feel me how how would you like if i take what you what you trying to do with your with your life pretty much and then try to add some too. shit to it you feel me or a nice little paper shit i should have brought that shit with me the gangsters this a flavor joint or nah yeah. It's some, Cause it's a mean paper. This is expensive shit. Yeah, I can tell this. Is a <laughs> this nice is some weave and this shit. This some nice quality right here. You know I mean? Yeah, no, I'm definitely rolling one up when I get home. I have to smoke the joint in a minute. You need a filter? Oh shit. <sighs> That's a good filter, right? Mm -hmm. I'm about to make a filter right now. I'm about to show how people... How, I'm about to show how... Wait, is it... Yo, you gotta show me real quick. Look at this shit. How do I break this shit? Oh, you broke it short. You just rip it. You rip the whole thing off. That's a big-ass filter. Nah, because nah. here, let me show you. I'm a, ah! <laughs> let me show you. I'm gonna do it for the camera. I'm gonna show the camera right fast, so... All right. You can keep all those. All right, wait, wait, wait. Say that. So, pretty much, what I do is... Mm, I've never seen it. Okay. I ignore this part. What I do is I fold these in like this, just as so. Boom. Yo, Boom. rock these. Rock these. Boom. Man, get out of here, bro. I never see you be rocking glasses. That's nah, just like hard. John's tenant. I can't yeah, right? That's why I wanted to. I want. I asked my dad to give me a pair. He got some cheap ass pair off Amazon. And I was like, dude, I can't even see through these bitches. I only see the screens, bro. No see what I'm saying? It's so weird, yeah. These Johns is crazy. Hold up. Like I just don't like it because I feel like I'm not even in life when I have those on. Not nah, gangster, bro. I'm saying. Look at, this, look at Fuego playing video games. Oh my god, I even see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you funny as hell. So peep this jaw though, right? So boom, these little slots when you fold them, I do one this way, boom, other way, and then boom back this way, right? That makes a BW for West, you know what I'm saying? B West. Yeah, then what you gonna do is boom, boom, boom. You gonna roll this up, kind of just there, so like that, you tugging it in, making it like that. You know what I'm saying? That's how I make mine. You know what I'm saying? Then boom, you just wrap it. You know what I'm saying? Like that. As is. Then boom. You see that? You got your W for West. I don't know if the camera can see that. You feel me? And yeah, that's how, that's how you do it. For real, for real. And then you just put it in the paper. And so. Yo, whatever happened to C Mac? Is he in jail right now? C Mac in jail? Not C Mac. Crip Mac. Oh, crap. I think he's doing time. That's what we haven't I heard about. I think he him. is doing time, bro. No Free lie. Free Crip Mac. Nevs, fuck Crip Mac, nigga. Why? That nigga five five neighborhood. <laughs> that nigga's crazy. Fuck that nigga, he, he pussy as hell. That nigga got beat up by uh J Five and the Hoover homie on the West Coast. I'm saying, mm. on my double O six man. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't always stand on that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, nah. they know us. They know we go crazy with it. I know we go. Uh huh. Uh huh. What do you think about making an album last session, basically? Almost. We pretty much recorded the whole EP last session. Not really. I'm just saying, exaggerating. No, like, we did. Six songs. That's a little EP. Shit. I think that really just proved that I know what I'm doing with my craft. I know my sound. And I'm very easy to work with. And, you know, so, like, if, if anybody, like, say I go to, like, the West Coast and I need someone to work with and they see that, you know, I got someone to work with and they know how to work with me. Um, pretty much, I just like it's 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 a talent. I really got it's a gift. You know what I mean? Like how I can really speak my truth like this and just do it so fast. You know what I mean? Six songs in three hours. 
for people that don't really know stew time like that, you know, that's actually good. That's really, really good. Some ra- like even, a lot of rappers can't do Swago that. Swago was very impressed. I seen on his face, and he was saying he was very impressed. Like, right? He 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 can't even do that. That's what I'm saying. A lot of rappers, not even just underground, professional rappers can't do that. Especially with how I make my songs. I do full, I take my time, I don't rush it, you feel me? I do my vocals, dubs, ad libs, extras and shit, you know what I'm saying? And then cuz mix and masters it. Crazy, you feel me? And we just be doing our thing up in here. We be getting ski, getting high, good vibes, all that. If it ain't mixed by smooth, I wanna hear that shit. You already know the vibes. Come on now, you knew I was gonna say it. Yeah, I mean. What did you think? What do you think about like? Are do you think you're gonna try to come to this party next time? This March third to part two or March third part two. Honestly, yeah. When I get more information, like say when it goes down, I could get my days off and I could really, you know, bring the gang and them out there. Cause I'll do the same thing I did last time. I make money, man. Like you, this is litter than that function was litter than any Miami function you guys went to when you went out there. I'm just being honest. That's how many people were there. No exaggeration. So like, like you gotta that. tell. My point is, you look, look at them. You gotta tell them to call, like play, not play. You, you gotta tell them to come. You feel me? Like nah, yeah, like y'all definitely got pop. It's gonna be the littest thing they ever went to. Word too, because more people know about it now, and they pulling up too, so it's going to double the people that was there the first time. I'm telling you, that first one that I saw, I compare that to like how many heads be in like the Miami clubs. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, like, that's what it was. It was even more than that, though. It was insane. I can't believe we did it, because since COVID's finally done, COVID's finally over. Some people still be wearing a mask, huh? Yeah, there be people coming in my job wearing a mask and shit. Really? Yeah, like, some people do the double mask. I'm like, yo, get out of here, bro. Yo, they're weird. I know, bro. <sighs> they're weird. People's immune systems be weak. Me, I'm strong. Italy on top. They can't get sick from other people? I guess. They can't, like, bro, people have such weak, like, some people got such weak immune systems that, like, that's how people were dying from COVID for, real, like, People who are dead ass, like, you just have a weak ass immune system. I don't know. It's survival of the fittest out here. And survival of the littest, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, a whole, whole bunch of that, man. A whole lot of that. What do you think about the, uh, the, what is that shit? The four people from America, they went to Mexico to get, like, a cheaper oh, BBL and they yeah. died. Yeah, I, I saw that. They got, what, kidnapped or some shit, killed? Yeah. Yeah, that's... Like, I'm I don't even want to travel to those places no more. This coming from a gutter, baby, man. I'm from the hood. I done seen it all. But let me tell you, Mexico, compared to the U.S., man, they make us look so pussy. Because, bro... And they apologize already. They're like, sorry, we thought they were cartel members. Like, they don't give a fuck. Yeah, like, bro, let me tell you, out in Mexico, man, the cartels and the gangs actually run the whole country. The police work with them, you feel me? Like, they pay the police off. Cops are corrupt down there, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm from Russia. Yeah, in, in the, um, in, what is it, in the U.S., you feel me? There's not a lot of corrupt cops that, because you can't get away with that shit nowadays. There's too much technology, too many, too many snitches, witnesses, cameras everywhere, all that shit. And it's kind of crazy because, like, back in, like, the 80s, 90s, cops out here used to be corrupt. I wouldn't say as corrupt as Mexico is, but... They really did, you know what I'm saying? I know um, up in Union, man, my boy was telling me that, like, the cops out there are, like, really corrupt. Like, in Union City, bro, they don't tell, like, people call the cops on motherfuckers for selling, like, crack on their block and shit. And then the cops would dead ass come up to them and just be like, hey, bro, you got to stop pushing on this block. You got to go, like, over here, over there where it ain't hot. And I'm like, wow, like, a cracker is telling, you feel me? A cracker is telling, like, a gangbanger. About all that shit. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Like, that shit crazy. Now, that blue durag did go hard, though. You can't even cap. Facts. I just be fucking around with my niggas. Bro, I be fidgeting too much. I be fidgeting. Like, that's that ADHD shit, man. I be fidgeting, like, throwing my vape around, fucking... Feeling that joint. I don't know, bro. That shit, like, mad pause, bro. But, like, bro, I be, I gotta stop fidgeting, kid. Oh, God. That's that shit. Because, like, bro, I can't sit still, man. I'm hyperactive as fuck. I gotta, like, move some part of my body or something. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> God damn. Tell a bitch get her a nigga with ADHD. I ain't gonna cap. We fuck crazy. <laughs> Go crazy, them bitch. She's <laughs> on six now. These bitches only want money. Shit, I got that too. 